Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, Kevin Sawyer. And uh, today I'm proud to announce the official reopening of the farm, Leadfoot Farm. And so, just to cover a few bases for you guys, I've put a couple of little extra mods in. Um, basically, what I'm going to go for you guys, for you guys that are not aware, um, what you can need to do. Um, mo um, sorry. Charlie's going to. Um, be uh, doing a proper tutorial on how to s install mods and, and at some point. So what I'll do is once he's done that, I'll put a link in the description of this if you're like watching it at a later date, um, and he'll, sh he'll go for a tutorial of how to actually do it. Um, but I'm just going to go at basically what you need to do. So once you go to join game, Central Europe, because that's where Leadfoot is. Um, you'll see our farm. You see it's locked out at the moment, but once it's opened again, it'll be opened. Now, when you go to click on it, okay, I've got my mods all installed and everything because uh, I was going to show you what you need to do, but it pops out of the game screen. But um, basically, you'll see this is blanked out, and you'll you, and you go, oh, I I can't get on there. Why can't I get on there? Um, if you press onto details. It bring up all the list of the mods you need. Um, basically, I've gone for all the ones through the Giants website. These are just three nice and easy ones to get. More may be coming, um, and also DLC will be coming once we can resolve uh, the problems with Sinky and getting his DLC to work with it. Um, but however, if you come across one, that's, it should be readied out. If it's the mod is not working you'll see it's readied out on your screen so if, say that one or this one or this one any of those you'll see if one of them's readied out that's the mod it's not you currently don't have or don't have a compatible version of it so if you click on here this should be highlighted um, download mods DLC click on that, that uh, close your game window you'll then actually need to close your game as well for it to, in order to work can't emphasize that enough because um, You'll need to obviously just go back out, um, quit the game, and with your Windows bar or your Internet Explorer or whatever you use open, it'll be already on the um, FS website with the corresponding link that you need to go to. Uh, click on that little corresponding link and it'll bring up the actual description of the mod, etc. etc. Just go click download, um, and then once it's downloaded, click onto your downloads taskbar to bring up the files you've just downloaded then double click on the file which you've just downloaded which was the FS mod and then it will automatically install and then once you've done that reload your game and then pop back in go back through the process and then you, sh you should basically have the start symbol like this already highlighted so um, once the start symbol is highlighted click start and you're in but uh, I'll meet you back in the farm because I've got a sign back in because the sign lock is still is still in place. So I shall see you on the other side. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Um, welcome back. Um, and you know we've all, all the admins been busy on here, sort of clearing everything out and making a few changes. Um, we've got rid of all these trees. I've got Charlie with me. He's not wired for sound right now, he's just popped in, I didn't realise he was actually online because I'd signed out on my um, Steam but um, anyway, he's he's about, he's just down here um, basically we've uh, got a load of cows now, a load of sheep let me just quickly uh, turn off the settings so let's take the icons and map off Okay. And he's uh, off to do something. I don't know what he's up to. It's uh, But um, he's been, me and him and TBF and Stinky have all been working hard to sort of get it all sort of back up to date. And um, I've made some modifications to the admin. 
So we all have special powers now. So... But, um... Anyway, um, our special powers uh, is we are now can... Uh, we're going to... Um, I'll go through some rules as well with you guys. So, like I said, there's going to be some new rules on the on the map. Um, but I'm going to show you my special power powers or the powers of the uh, of the uh, admin. We can now fly. So if you trolls have got ideas of uh, trolling this map, um, we're going to be right on top of you before you even know it, and you won't even know see us coming either. So, but. While I'm dry, while I'm flying around, I'm gonna show you sort of like some of the little modifications I've made on the map. So we've made on the map, we've made this nice little uh, parking lot here to uh, to park all our stores in and uh, everything else. Um, I've bought some more fields as well. All the fields are ready for harvesting. We've got. We've got cows, we've got sheep. Um, we've got enough to keep everyone busy for a long while now. Um, so there shouldn't be any problems with boredom or anything else. Um, with aspects to the what we can do, what you can and can't do on the farm now, um, is basically any equipment you're using, don't just dump it. Um, please bring it back to the farm. It doesn't have to be neatly parked anywhere. It just has to be somewhere we can find it easily or anyone can find it easily um, it just makes it easier and more fun for everyone um, next thing maximum f two trailers allowed only on any vehicle um, so I don't want to see any more road trains um, purely because um, it's stupid because then if someone's using all the trailers together then no one else can have fun with the combines or help out the combines or help anyone else on a combine you know keep it fair for everyone to be using the combine and unloading and doing um, cart work and everything um, but and also there's going to be um, lockdown times for the server because most of the admin at present time are, are sort of like sort of local time zone to the UK um, and unfortunately it's going to alienate a lot of people as well um, that are outside that time zone and I can only apologise about that guys um, you know it's we can't be here 24 7 as much as I'd like someone here 24 7 to keep an eye on it it's just impossible um, and or the fact we've got other things to be doing so um, there's going to be a lockdown period so after 9 p.m. Matt latest of 10 p.m. Um, there's going to be a password set back into the um, into the server so then anyone that tries to come in back in that's GMT to GMT as well it's Greenwich Mean Time so anytime after 10 p.m. maximum 10 p.m. you won't be able to come back in um, anyone's in here won't get kicked out just because there's a password on there um, you'll still be able to free to play um, and the admin will hang around for a while as well um, so don't you know just think you're going to be abandoned after 10 no we'll be here still working around as well keeping an eye on things um, doing things that need to be but um, Basically, after that, it, um, no one else will be able to come in, guys. And I'm again, I can only apologise if you're outside those hours, and it's going to be hard for you to play. But that's the at this present time, the sort of like the closing time for the the farm. In a sense, the farm closes at 10 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Um, as for our opening times, it probably going to be a bit um, varied. It depends on whoever comes in, for whoever the first uh, admin is in, and more comes in. Um, to open it back up again so I'm not going to state a time when the farm is officially opened again it's just that you have to just keep them coming pop, popping by and see if the uh, padlock's been removed so to speak um, you know um, once an admin's in here the rule is for them to unlock it let everyone in a um, bit like a shop in a sense so but anyway that's um, sort of like rules I, 
um, want to put into place um, just to like um, you know minimize the trolling um, I don't think we're going to ever really beat it but I hope as we all work as a team um, you know tell the admin if you see something suspicious um, to uh, you know highlight that with us we'll fly over and check keep an eye on them so to speak um, and uh, if they are up to no good we will uh, certainly uh, boot them out so to speak the free rules aspect still applies um, you know we'll warn people if they're not um, if they're not playing nicely and uh, you know but we're, we're just immediate bans we think they're just definitely up to no good but anyway um, I want to say thank you to everyone for your support and uh, I hope you enjoy the map being reopened and uh, I hope you have fun on the farm anyway I'll see you in the next one Tata for now.